Good morning, everyone. It is I, the bearded one, and I have something to show you here. It's something that no man ever wants to see, okay? I got my sword here, and I was looking at the blade, and it had some tarnish on it. No man wants to ever see tarnish on a blade. It was a little spot, probably about that much. And so what I did, I took some sandpaper. Now, this sandpaper is like 2,500 grit, I believe. It's the finest I could find. And so I just went along the uh, length of the blade where the tarnish was and gently just took it out. Now, you don't want to use any thing coarser than that uh say 1500 to 2500 is what i would recommend but you want to go with the length of the blade with the grain of it and just gently take that tarnish off and then i put some mineral oil on it uh, this stuff is cheap now you can use uh any kind of oil really except for like olive oil uh you can use gun oil uh, I don't recommend that, though, only because gun oil is so expensive. If you if you have it like that, go ahead. Uh, I used gun oil on it before, and it worked pretty well. But I had left it in the leather sheath for a while, or the scabbard. And uh, the leather tends to collect moisture inside. And so, if men, if you have a sword and you keep it in the scabbard, make sure you take it out and inspect it probably about once a month to make sure that there's no tarnish on it, okay? tarnish or rust uh, so that's what happened it had been in the scabbard for a while and i guess the oil finally dried up and it allowed it to tarnish a little bit so i'm going to start watching this about once a month and what you do after you take the tarnish off you get a little bit of oil on a rag okay a clean rag and just lightly coat it doesn't take very much at all just give it a light coat and then put it back in the scabbard so just wanted to show you all that. I, I did already sand it, and I put the uh, uh, mineral oil on it, and it just turned out really nice. It didn't mar the finish at all, and it just looks really good. Uh, also, for the handles, I have a wooden handle here. They say you can use pledge on it. Uh, I use that or the mineral oil, either way, and it, it's working out pretty good. So that's it for the care and maintenance of a sword. Just make sure you inspect it. Uh, once a month at least. Uh, now, if you keep it out of the scabbard, you can readily see if, you know, if there's any tarnish or anything on it. But uh, the, like I said, the leather, the leather tends to hold in moisture, and so that can cause it to rust. So make sure you keep a fine sheen of oil on it. Now, there's that, and I want to show you something else. Let me put this back. All right. And that now this right here men you need a battle horn my wife got me this for christmas i love it i've been practicing on it and i'm not very good so i'm not gonna uh, bore y'all with that today but once i get better i'll be blowing this thing and you'll be hearing it so but i do recommend it it's real neat it's like a drinking horn but except you see right there there's the mouthpiece and now I've heard of some people taking like a uh, French horn mouthpiece and inserting it in there, and it'll give you a better embouchure. Uh, those of us that used to be in band, you know, embouchure is the way you purse your lips so you can get a sound out of a trumpet or a trombone, French horn, uh, any of the brass instruments. Uh, I haven't tried a French horn mouthpiece in it. I might, just to see how it feels. Uh, but it's hard. It's hard to learn how to do this. Uh, I've been practicing. I'm pretty sure the neighbors do not appreciate that at 8 o'clock in the morning. But hey... Uh, this is it, men. I recommend it. Uh, the runes. Now, the runes, uh, they don't spell an English word. I don't know what they spell. I tried to Google it. I can read the runes. I know the letters. But whenever you put them together, it makes up a nonsense word. So, uh, other than that, though, I love this. This is an awesome horn. It has very nice detail to it. Uh, the mouthpiece feels okay on the lips. And it's even got a leather strap. Now, I keep this tied like that because I keep it on the sword here. And I let them, I let it just hang on the sword whenever I hang it up. And it looks pretty neat with it like that. 
So this is how I display it. Well, that's about all I got for today. I just want to show you that. Uh, take care of the swords. If you do get one, just make sure, because that could be a family heirloom. You can pass it down. And it's just really great stuff. Uh, and plus, it's neat. Whenever people come in, first thing they see is a sword. And they're like, hey, is that a real sword? Why, yes, it is. <laughs> so, oh, don't forget, men. Take care of your beards. Okay? Then keep in mind, old, with the, and with the beard butter. And I brush it every day. Okay? And you can tell it's still coming in. I did go to a barber shop. And they thinned my hair a little bit down. And they trimmed the beard a little bit. They didn't take very much off the length. But they did trim the stray hairs and stuff. And it looked really nice. Hey, hey, I do recommend going to a real barber shop. Okay. Now, I went to Borelli's here. And they took care of the beard pretty good. Uh, the guy free-handed it. And, but that place, you can drink whiskey while they're doing your hair and doing your beard. It's, just, it's really neat. Uh, you're going to pay some money for that kind of uh, service now. But it's worth it. Okay, men, you are worth it. That beard is worth it. Your hair, everything is worth paying for with the how you look. Okay, hey, y'all take care. Have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing y'all again. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.